welcome to the 10 o'clock mini make. Now our mini makes are usually for our younger audience, so, but anyone can have a go. At the end of the day, we're all sat there kind of being a little bit bored and all the rest of it. My name's on backwards again today. Best here it is. Just turn that round. I've got Daisy here today doing it with me. That's upside down and backwards. Um, and we are going to make um, a painting of a face with crazy hair. So what will you need? Well, you'll need some straws. I've got a collection. I upcycle and recycle. So there are all sorts of random straws that I have here in the studio. Um, these ones are actually from the Golden Arches. Um, but obviously, you know, it's a bit controversial using straws these days. So whatever you've got at home, you might have one of those stain and steel straws. We're not going to be putting them in the paint. You might get a little bit of paint on the end, but they can all be washed. Then I'm using children's poster paints. So these aren't acrylics. These are just poster paints. And I've got a whole load of random colors. And the idea, I don't know if you have seen, but the idea, I'm just going to show you my selection so that's my paint selection today. Ooh, that just dripped. Um, the idea is that we're gonna do this crazy hair like a rainbow, and we're gonna put it in our window for the rainbow trail. If you hadn't heard of the rainbow trail, then the rainbow trail is following rainbows with children. Um, there's a teddy bear trail and there's a rainbow trail. And the idea is, is to offer a rainbow of hope, okay? So this is gonna be our rainbow picture, which I'm gonna put in my window in the studio. All right, so let's just pan down here. There, uh, flip it the other way. There's Daisy, there's our pictures, and we are ready to go. She's gonna do it with me. So we're gonna draw a face to start with. So to do, and I'm going straight with a, a big black permanent marker. If this is too scary for you children, use a pencil and go over your pencil line. Daisy, are you happy with the marker or do you wanna use a pencil? I she wants to use a pencil. Are you sure? Go get, go get a new pencil. We'll show you how to do it with pencils. Oh, hang on, there's two here. They're a bit blunt because I was doing an art class yesterday, but they'll be good enough for us to draw a circle. Okay, so we're gonna do a big circle, round and round, big circle till you've got a shape of a head. Oh, ah, I should have, yours is perfect, mine isn't. I should have said, put your circle further down because the hair is the most important bit. So Daisy's got it in a perfect location and I haven't. You thought about that. You thought about that? Good job. Okay. No, no, that's perfect. So, if this is our halfway of our paper, I'm going to try and do our circle down here. So that's mine. I'm going to have a nice chubby face. Just rub out all the bits in the middle. We can do this later after we've finished. Okay, I'm going to put some ears. Mine's going to be, is yours a boy or a girl? Mine is a boy. Yours is a boy, so mine's going to be a girl. Okay? So I'm going to give her a neck, and I'm going to give her a beautiful blouse, the collar of a blouse. Daisy, what are you going to do? A t-shirt. A t-shirt? A singlet thing, okay. I'm just going to check that we can see the pictures in the camera. Yep, we can, so that's good. Daisy, can you move yours over a little bit so we can see yours a bit more? I might move the paint over there. Okay, beautiful. And then we need to draw the features. So because mine's a girl, I'm gonna give her a lovely little button nose. I'm gonna give her gorgeous big eyes and a cutesy cheek. And they're gonna be lovely, kind of happy emoji eyes with eyelashes, of course, because she's a beautiful little girl. And I'm going to give her gorgeous, beautiful lips, a little chin, going to round off her cheeks. And you can make yours however you want, okay? You can make it however you want. This is your little picture, so you draw your face. It could be a picture of you, it could be a picture of mum, dad, a friend. Let's do those ears. I'm gonna give her some lovely dangly earrings. Maybe she's not so little then if she's wearing dangly earrings. Okay, now I'm gonna to move to my black pen and I'm gonna go over it. So we're going over our funky face. 
like this. You can just use a black texture if you don't have a permanent marker, that's fine. Use whatever you've got at home. The old point about these lessons is that it shouldn't be too stressful. You should be able to find things like this at home. Now, if you don't have paints at home, you can make yourself some watercolors like I showed you the other day, how to make watercolors from felt, felt tips. Or using the pantry, like I did that painting the other day using the pantry, you could use ketchup, sauce, mayonnaise, use those as your paints and blow them. They're gonna work, it's gonna be different, and it'll be a bit smelly, but it definitely will work, you'll definitely get color. And you go, oh, nice drawing, Daisy. No, he's great. That's great. He's a baldy. Well, we're gonna do the hair. That's the point of the artwork. <laughs> so just drawing in my lines. Like this. Like this. Gorgeous. And now we want to do the top of the head. Like this. I might give her a few freckles. Okay, so that's my drawing. And now the next bit is to actually put the paint on the hairline and blow it. Now, Daisy and I have not had a practice at this. It could be carnage. You could be laughing at our expense. I'm just gonna wait for Daisy to finish um, where she is. Daisy, let me just straighten that, please. So I can put, she's left-handed, so it's a little bit tricky. So we want it to be a rainbow. So this is for the rainbow walk. So we used all the colors that we had available. So we're gonna start with yellow and we'll go around, okay? So you put the paint like this. I'm using the straw, I'm picking up the paint. And then you blow. Now I'm just gonna make sure that you can see me if I do that, so I'm gonna move it down there. And then you blow. Whenever you're ready, I'm on to my second colour. Give you a straw. This is slightly different yellow, so I'm hoping that it will just come out a bit different. Now, because it's getting a bit lumpy, I'm going to put some water there so I can dip this in water and get some water blowing. How you going, Daisy? Good. Feel free to dip it in the water if you need to. Uh -huh. I don't know why we didn't put the orange next to the yellow, so let's do orange next, Daisy, okay? So I'm dripping it down first. You can put it wherever you want. I'm gonna try and do mine in a color, color cloth. So it's not that messy, but you're going to need to protect your table a little bit. I'm going to give her a bit of a fringe. Okay, now I'm on to the red. So drop your, drop your colour down. See what I'm doing, Daisy? I'm dropping the colour down in different spots. Awesome. Then stick it in the water and then blow and the water will help spread the hair colour. This is so much fun. Do you reckon, Dee? She can't talk because she's blowing. <laughs> They're looking great. Okay, after red, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do that pink. So I lay the pink down. The good thing about using children's poster paints to do this is that obviously poster paints have more water and so they're much easier to spread. I thought yours, you could have done a mohawk on yours for a boy. That's a good idea for somebody else. I'll never do a mohawk, only one side. Well, yeah, you couldn't. 
So I might use some of that pink and just pink in some of her lips as well. Feels like she needs some pink lips. So I'm just using the straw to paint it. So like I've said, this is going to go on our window for the rainbow trail. The rainbow trail is just for mums and dads that, or carers that are out walking with little children. Because obviously you're not allowed to engage and interact with too many people. Of course you can say hello and good morning from afar. And we want to encourage that. But obviously you can't get too close to people. You can't sit on the benches. They can't play in the parks anymore. It's all a bit, you know, it's a bit difficult. But at the end of the day, every day you wake up and there's more hundreds of people, especially in Europe, um, that are dying. So it's important that we keep our social distance. And so things like this are going to make our trails fun. Oh, the purple worked excellent. Okay, that's my purple. I feel like I need a bit more orange just in that space there. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to say, Daisy, that I reckon this blue is not going to work because it's a bit thick, but let's give it a go, shall we? I don't think it will work. You don't think it'll, I think that looks like it's a bit too blobby. But I'm going to try anyway because if that's the only paint you've got at home, that's the only paint you've got at home. I'm going to try and lift and twist this now. Oh, yeah, it works fine. Works fine. All right, and then this blue here. I'm getting a headache. Are you, Daisy? If you're getting a headache and you're at home, <laughs> just have a break and have a stop. <laughs> I keep getting a really bad headache. Not sure if it's not. <laughs> and obviously you do need to throw these straws away. If you're using the metal ones and you can recycle them, then that would be fine. But these ones here, we don't want someone to suck them by accident and suck. And children, that's really important. Suck. Do not suck. Blow. This is a blowing picture, not a sucking one. Okay, I'm going to give her a red fringe, I think. Might be slightly multicolored now. I'm just going to, with the purple, I'm just going to draw in some lines like a fringe, like that. So I'm using my stick oh. just to draw in some lines. I'm going to give it a wash out. And then I'm going to make one big colour in the middle. So I'm going to add blue and purple to make, and a bit of red to make a really dark colour. And it'll be sort of like black. And I'm going to put a bow in her hair. See how I did that? So a bit of red, a bit of the purple, any colour really, just mix it all up and you'll get really dark, yucky brown, but this will be the darkest colour that we're using. Oh, careful Daisy, just splattered it everywhere. And I'm just going to put a bow in her hair. I'm just drawing with the, with the straw, so I'm drawing that bow shape. Good job, Daisy. Love it. Bit more orange, I think. Squeeze out a bit more orange. Perhaps just squeeze it straight on the plate and just blow that little bit of orange there. there. Daisy and I are going to need a little lie down after this. Gives you a bit of a headache. <laughs> yeah. Not too bad. So there is my crazy hair that we've just done with paints and um, straws we've just done that with some poster paints we drew our face first then we put our paint on there and with the straws and the water we blew our rainbow face daisy and i are going to put these up in our window at home as part of the rainbow trail in fact i'm going to write on here hope i'm going to put love and although this is wet i'm going to hope that i can put Rainbow Trail. 
So if you haven't got anything to do today, if you can't do, if you don't have any paints at home, why don't you do a crazy hair drawing? Why don't you do a picture like this and then go crazy with colored markers? Let's get some crazy hair rainbow drawings all the way around the gap so that, so that later on, after mums and dads have finished work and the children, the paint's just under your picture, um, and the children are out for a walk, then they can see these gorgeous happy faces all the way around the gap and, you know, it'll give a little bit of love. Sending you lots of love from Daisy and Karen today. Woo! Daisy and Bess, should I say. Lots of love. Take care. See you at two o'clock for the Daily Doodle. Today's Daily Doodle is a little pussycat who's stuck in some Venetian blinds. Lots of love. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a heart. Spread the love. Take care. Thanks for watching.